o h i Adelaide, the city in Australia, the administrative centre and the biggest city of the state of South Australia, the fifth largest city of the country, with the population of 1,225,265 people in 2011. The city is located on the bank of the Gulf St. Vincent, on the Adelaide Plains, to the north from the peninsula f l y e r a y a at the foot of Ridge Mont Lofty. The city is called in honour of the spouse of the British King from the Hanover dynasty William IV Queen Consort Adelaide. Today Adelaide is well known for the festivals and also wine, art and sporting achievements. As the government and commercial centre of South Australia, Adelaide has a large number of the public and financial institutions. Most of them are located in the downtown and also in suburbs. The city is founded in 1836 and called in honour of the spouse of the British monarch William IV ruling from 1830 to 1836, the Queen Adelaide. The name Adelaide, which didn't change also after reform of Russian of 1918, was fixed in Russian in prayer reform spelling. In March 1973, rules of transfer of the English place names in Russian were officially approved. According to the specified rules of a transcription, the city has to be called Adelaide. English Adelaide. However, the traditional form of the name Adelaide is in the country kept. In 1986, in the Dictionary of Place Names of Foreign Countries, standard writing of the name in the traditional Adelaide form, obligatory for use by all Soviet ministries, departments, institutions, enterprises and organizations is also recorded. Adelaide is located to the north from the peninsula f l y e r a y a on the Adelaide Plains, and to the east from the Gulf St. Vincent to Low Ridge Mont Lofty. The city stretch for 20 came from the coast to the foot of the Adelaide Hills, and for 90 came from g u l a r to Selix Beach in the south and the north. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the total area of the urban area of Adelaide is 870 km. It is also on average located at the height of 50 metres above sea level. Go Lofty, it is located to the east from the city in the hilly area, its height is 727 metres. It is the highest point in the city and regarding the state of South Australia, located to the south from Burra. The most part of the modern territory of Adelaide before the British settling represented bush, only on the coast marshy soils were located. However, the considerable territories covered with natural vegetation were cleared away, except for territories of reserves, such as Reserve Cloud and National Park b e l l a r Through the region several rivers and streams flow. The largest of them are the rivers Torrance and Ankaparinga. The city receives fresh water from several reservoirs, the largest of which, Mont Bold and Happy Valley, provide more than a half of need of the city for water. Adelaide settles down in a zone of the Mediterranean climate, and the most part of rains drops out here in the winter. This city is the driest of all large Australian cities. In the summer of draft it is very difficult to predict, and they are usually insignificant and infrequent. In the winter usually enough rainfall most of which part falls on June drops out. On average about 18. Frosts are extremely rare, the most known cases are recorded in July 1908 and July 1982. As a rule, considerable snowfall, except Mount Lofty and some other regions of the Adelaide Hills in these parts isn't observed. During the period before the British settling the district of Adelaide was inhabited by the tribe of natives of Korna.
It possessed the territory of modern plains of Adelaide and areas surrounding them, from Cape Jervis in the south to Port Wakefield in the north. Unique ceremonies of this tribe included controlled wildfires near the hills surrounding the city. As a result of settling by Europeans, natives were forced out from these territories, and by 1852 by results of their census there were 650 people, and the number of the tribe was constantly reduced by. South Australia was officially proclaimed the new British province on December 28, 1836 near an old eucalyptus tree in the territory of the modern suburb of Adelaide, Glen of North. Today this day in South Australia is the Holiday Proclamation Day. The place for construction of the capital of New Colony was chosen and planned by the Colonel William Late. In 1823, Late wrote about the Sicilian city of Catania. Two main city streets are crossed at right angle, forming the area and leaving on the north and the south, the west and the east. They are wide and spacious, and length of everyone is about a mile. It also became a basis of the city plan. Late insisted on that the city was put on the eminence located on the river bank torrents which became the main source of drinking water for a new colony. Such type of planning assumed that the initial location of the city will change with development and expansion of his borders a little. Usually in the old cities it is required to broaden roads and to add parks while in Adelaide they existed from the very beginning. Adelaide became the centre of colony of free settlers which guaranteed civil liberties and lack of prosecutions for religion. It distinguishes the city from Sydney or Hobart which arose as the settlement of convicts. The early history of Adelaide differed in economic instability and the incompetent management. The first Governor-General of South Australia, John Hainmarsh, often clashed with late concerning city planning and development. The hilly area surrounding Adelaide was prepared by late for sale. In total it was supposed to sell 405 came. Land The city economy began to rise in 1838 when from New South Wales and from Tasmania the cattle was delivered. Cultivation of sheep and sale of wool I became the main early economy of the region. By then Late's work on preparation of the earth for sale was completed and big plots were offered early colonists. By 1860 the city was surrounded by wheat fields from the city of Encounter Bay in the south to the city of Clare in the north. At the end of 1838 Hind Marsha George Buller who was engaged in construction of the governor's residence, police barracks and also piers and buildings of customs in the port of Adelaide released from a duty the governor. Housing for government employees and missionaries and also several police stations was built. In the period of his board the city economy developed however too well-being was far. The colony constantly was in debt, relying on financial aid of London to remain afloat. In 1841 Guler was recalled and his place was taken by Sir George Edward Grey. Overcoming strong resistance, Gray lowered expenses of government, however the effect of this measure was insignificant. Same year silver was found in the town Glen Osmond, agriculture actively developed, and on all state the enterprises of the mining industry began to appear. By the time of Gray's leaving from the governor's post, the city exported meat, wool, wine, fruit and wheat that was a big step forward in comparison with 1842 when a third of houses in the city were abandoned.
Commercial relations of Adelaide were established with other states of Australia in 1853 after the successful beginning of navigation down the River Murray which was spent by Francis Cadell, the resident. In 1856, South Australia became colony with local government when the new constitution was ratified by the British Parliament. Practice of a ballot was entered and on March 9, 1857, the two-chamber parliament was elected. By then, the population of the territory made 109,917 people. In 1860, the reservoir Torndon, which became an alternative source of water for the city, was open. In 1867, in Adelaide, gas lighting of streets appeared. In 1872, the cable line almost in 4000 came from Adelaide to Darwin Port, which connected the Australian colonies of that time with cable network of the East Indies, was open. In 1874, the University of Adelaide was founded. In 1881, the Art Gallery of South Australia was opened. In 1896, one more reservoir, Happy Uli, was opened. At the end of the 19th century, the city already did considerable business. The set of banks and other commercial institutions appeared. From Adelaide on the north to the Cape Burr where mines lie, the railroad in 226 came was built. At the end of the 1890th years Australia appeared under the influence of a severe economic depression which finished an era of an earth boom and uncontrolled expansion of territories. Financial institutions of Melbourne and Banks of Sydney were closed. The birth rate in the country considerably went down, and immigration practically stopped. The total amount of export of South Australia was reduced almost twice. The drought and small harvests of 1884 aggravated situation in the state, therefore some families moved to Western Australia. Adelaide experienced difficulties rather easily, in comparison with the large cities. Sydney and Melbourne which still fought against gold rush consequences. Besides, discovery of the fields of silver and lead in the town of Brackenhill helped to cope with a situation. Budget deficit was registered for only one year, however the government had to resort to serious cut in expenditure. Productions of wine and copper appeared the only sectors of city economy not injured with recession. In 1900 in the city electric lighting of streets was established, and in 1909 electric trams began to transport the first passengers. People were involved in World War I. The economy of Adelaide endured a post-war boom, however several consecutive droughts led to approach of the next recession in the 1930th years. The situation managed to be restored thanks to a strong management. The secondary sector of economy began to prevail over extraction of raw materials, reducing dependence of the region on resources. The census of 1933 showed the population of the state in people smaller gain than in other states that was explained by economic difficulties of the region. World War II was an impulse to development and diversification of the economy of Adelaide in the period of Thomas Playford as government of four who attached importance to development of the industry of this region which was more protected in comparison with other Australian cities. 70000 people were involved in war and the shipbuilding developed in this period in other port of the state, the city of Uyala. 395 came to the northwest from Adelaide.
the government of South Australia since this period the beginning actively to use post-war production capabilities of the region. In 1954, the water supply system from Manham provided the city with fresh water from the Murray River, and in 1955, in the suburbs West Beach, was opened the International Airport. The aid program two immigrants adopted between 1974 and 1973 brought into the region of immigrants from around the world. In the 1978 years, Danston's government paid much attention to cultural development of the city, having undertaken social reform and having provided development in the city of arts. Between 1985 and 1996, in Adelaide, Formula One competitions took place on the street track located in East Parks. Crash of the main bank of the state caused in the region economic difficulties which proceeded till 2004 when the Standard & Poor's Rating Agency assigned to Adelaide the AAA credit score. In recent years in the state economic growth at Rand's government is observed. By results of a population census of 2011, the population of a city part of Adelaide made more than card doing this city to the fifth in sizes of the population in Australia. During 2002-2003 the population increased by 0.6% while average growth over the country was 1.2%. About 70.3% of all population of South Australia live in city line of Adelaide therefore South Australia is considered one of the most centralised states. Adelaide, Mawson Lakes, the suburbs and Golden Grove became the main areas in which growth of the population was noted. Citizens occupied 341,227 houses, 54826 combined houses or townhouses and 49327 apartments. More wealthy and educated residents settled down in coastal areas such as Brighton and Hallett Cove, East areas, to Smore and Norwood, and also Southeast areas, where inside and Waterfall Gully, almost every fifth resident, 17, 9%, is university education. The number of residents with working specialties was reduced from 62.1% of able-bodied population by results of a census of 1991 to 52.4% in a census of 2001. Most of the population considers itself Christians, the main denominations. Catholics, 22.1%. Anglicans, 14.0%. Presbyterians, 8.4%. And Orthodox Christians, 3.8%. About 24% of the population don't rank themselves to any church that considerably exceeds this indicator over the country of 18.7%. In general, the population of Adelaide grows old quicker than the population of other large Australian cities. A little more than a quarter, 26.7%, of the population of the city are made by people of 55 years and are more senior, while an average value over the country are 24.3%. The smallest number of children aged lives up to 15 years which make 17.8% of the population of the city in Adelaide, in comparison with average over the country minus 19.8%. The share of the residents born abroad Australia makes 23.7% of all population. The main part then lives in northwest, 
Woodville and Athol Park, and the central regions of the city. The most considerable groups of the inhabitants born in other countries are natives of England. 7.3% Italy 1.9% Scotland 1.0% Vietnam 0.9% and Greece 0.9% Except English, the most widespread languages are Italian, 3.0%, Greek, 2.2%, Vietnamese, 1.2%, Ikutankwa, 0.8%, and Cantonese, 0.7%. Adelaide, well-planned city which plan was developed by the first town planner of Australia, the Colonel William Late. Adelaide Street represents a lattice in which center? The internal city. Five main squares are located and the downtown surrounds a continuous ring of parks. Late's plan first didn't cause special enthusiasm in the first settlers. Also, the first governor of the state, John Hayne Marsh, wasn't happy with him. However, Late insisted the cities on the initial vision, having overcome resistance. Such arrangement gave to the city numerous advantages. From the very beginning, Adelaide possessed wide roads with several strips. In the city, it was very easy to be guided, and the center, it was surrounded by beautiful parks. In Adelaide, there are two ring highways which became logical continuation of initial city map. The internal ring passes on border of parks and external goes on distant border of the downtown. Extending the city somewhat outgrew the initial plan of late. Numerous satellite towns were built in the second half of the 20th century the largest of which steel of Salisbury and Elizabeth in the north of the city. Today they completely surround the city centre. Development of the region of the Adelaide Hills began thanks to construction of the Southeast Highway. Development of city construction in the south of the city made necessary construction of the Southern High Speed Highway. New roads, not the only way of the solution of problems of the growing city. The so-called Oban is an example of the unique solution of transport difficulties which Adelaide faced in the 1980s. Development of the nearby suburb Golden Grove. Golden Grove. In the late 80s can be considered an example of successful city planning. In general, new areas aren't so well integrated into initial city map as old suburbs. Therefore, the transport system of Adelaide meets certain difficulties which, however, can't be compared to problems of traffic of Melbourne or Sydney. Primary branches of economy of Adelaide are production of goods, defence industry and researches and also services sector. Here large defensive, production and research zones are located. The enterprises of automotive industry Holden and Mitsubishi and also productions of the medical equipment and electronics treated those. Nearly a half of all cars manufactured in Australia gathered in Adelaide. At the moment the plants of Holden and Mitsubishi are closed, just as the plants of Toyota and Ford are closed. Cars aren't manufactured in Australia anymore. The Global Media Concern News Corporation was founded until 2004 was located in Adelaide whom Rupert Murdoch still considers the spiritual house. The largest oil extracting company of Australia, Santos. South Australia Northern Territory Oil Search.
the known Australian brewery Coopers, a large retail network Harris Scarf and the second largest Argo Investments Limited investment company of Australia are located in Adelaide. The crash of the main bank of South Australia since 1992 led to sharp increase in the debt of the state. Up to 4 billion Australian dollars. That led to the fact that the government of the state throughout several consecutive periods of election was forced to operate with the poor budget, constantly cutting down expenses that in turn constrained the economic development of the city and the state. Recently, the debt was considerably reduced that allowed the government of the state to receive the AAA credit rating again. The economy of South Australia, which is very closely connected with the economy of Adelaide, continues to grow quicker than the national economy in general. In Adelaide, a considerable part of defence industry of Australia is located. These enterprises bring in the budget of the country over 1 billion Australian dollars annually. 70% of the companies of the Australian defence sector are located in Adelaide. The main state defensive and research institutes, defence science and technology organisation, and other structures of defence industry are located in the suburb of Adelaide Salisbury, near military base Edinburgh. The other defense enterprises, such as SOB Systems, are located in the technological park of Adelaide. Australian Submarine Corporation, located in the industrial suburb Osborne, is engaged in development and production of the Australian submarines of the class Collins and recently won the contract for the sum of six billion Australian dollars for production of new aircraft carriers. Total number of the working population of the city is people from whom 62.3% work with full working load and 35.1% from partial. In recent years, the trend of increase in number of the people working part time is observed, including under the contract. Their share increased from 11.6% in 1991 up to nearly a third today. 15% of the working population are engaged at production, 5% in construction, 15% in trade, 11% in business, 7% in education and 12% in healthcare and the social sphere. Average individual income for persons is more senior than 15 years was $447 a week in comparison with $466 on average in the country. The average income of family was $1.1137 a week, in comparison with $1.1171 on average in the country. Expenses on life and cost of the real estate in Adelaide are much lower than in other Australian cities. The average cost of housing in Adelaide is twice lower than in Sydney and is about 75% of cost of housing in Melbourne. The average level of unemployment for March 2007 was 6.2%. Unemployment among inhabitants of northern suburbs is much higher than in other regions of Adelaide and makes 8.3% while in eastern and southern suburbs this level is lower than an average and makes 4.9% and 5.0% respectively. Adelaide is located in the centre of the southern part of the Australian continent that does it by the major transport hub providing the message of east and western regions of the country. In the city there is a developed system of public transport which includes branched bus routes, including the well-known O-Ban, local trains and tramways. The line of the tram Adelaide Glenelg was prolonged and reconstructed recently and now passes through the downtown from the north on the southwest.
historically it was rather easier to move across Adelaide than on other Australian capitals that was provided with construction of wide streets and multi-band roads from the very beginning of development of the city. Adelaide was called for fun by the city of 20 minutes. So much time was required on average to reach from the outskirts the business centre. However, recently the road network hardly copes with increase in number of transport. In Adelaide there are three main highways, two of which are high speed. You go to near Highway, connects the city to the area of the Adelaide Hills and Murray Bridge leaves further on the east to the city. Northern High Speed Port River connects the port of Adelaide to federal routes. On the Southern High Speed Highway Contraflow Lane Reversal is organized. It connects the southern suburbs of Adelaide to the downtown. A Jesnea Highway around the northern suburb of Adelaide, Cooler, is also a convenient transport corridor. In 2008 construction of new high speed. Severno. Highway and also the reconstruction of Usnoy Highway including his expansion and construction of several traffic intersections began. End of these projects will allow to organize through traffic from the south on the north by passing the downtown and to solve a message problem with the remote southern suburbs. The International Airport of Adelaide located in the western part of the city in only 7 kilometers from the downtown is the newest and modern airport terminal in Australia. Capacity of the airport is 6.3 million passengers a year. The airport building combining internal and international flights was built instead of the outdated terminal. The airport is certified on acceptance of all types of aircraft, including Airbus A. In March 2007, the airport of Adelaide took the second place in the international rating of the airports in category from 5 to 15 million passengers and received the corresponding award. The airport is capable to accept at the same time 27 aircraft and to serve 300 passengers an hour. The second airport of Adelaide, Parafield, is used generally for flights of aircraft of general purpose. He is located in 18 kilometers to the north from the downtown. The Royal Hospital of Adelaide. Ra. Founded in 1840 became the first hospital in the city. Today it is one of the largest city hospitals and the educational platform for medical school of the University of Adelaide. Capacity of hospital is 705 beds. Other offices of RA having neurospecialization are located in suburbs of Adelaide, Hampstead Rehabilitation Center in Northfield and in Glanceda. Other large healthcare institutions of Adelaide are the Children's and Women's Hospital. 305 beds. Located in a northern part of the city. The Hospital of the Queen Elizabeth, 340 beds, located in Vidvilla and also the Medical Center of Flinders, 500 beds, which is in Bedford Park. These hospitals are associated with medical schools, the University of Adelaide and Flinders University. In June 2007, the government of the state announced plans of expansion of the health sector of the city which include construction of new hospital in the territory now occupied with old railway tracks to the west from the central station. The new hospital will have to replace Royal Hospital. Her sizes will be 800 beds and cost will exceed 1.7 billion Australian dollars.
except the specified plans, it was declared considerable expansion of the medical center of Flinders in the south and Lyle Mockhaven hospitals around Elizabeth. She will become the main medical center for northern suburbs. The Hospital of the Queen Elizabeth, Hospital of Modbury and Norlanga Hospital are planned to be transformed to the specialized surgical centers. School education in Adelaide is provided with different public and private schools and is an obligation of the government of the state. Educational institutions work within the standard of the Southern Australian Certificate on Education. Says are within the International Bachelor Degree. Ib. The higher education system in Adelaide is well developed. Only in the downtown five of eight centres of training of TAFE are located. They specialise in extra-university higher education, offering it a valuable alternative. In Adelaide, all three Southern Australian universities are located. The University of Adelaide is included into a group of eight and is one of three oldest universities of Australia. In the territory of the city, five campuses of this university are located. The University of South Australia was formed in 1991 as a result of merging of the Southern Australian Institute of Technology and the Southern Australian College of Post-Degree Training. Four or five of his campuses are located in the territory of the city, two in the centre. The Flinders University located around the Bedford Park is called in honour of the British pioneer and the researcher Matthew Flinders and founded in 1966. This small educational institution which part the Medical Institute and the Medical Centre of Flinders is the leading American private university of Carnegie Mellon opened in Adelaide two campuses in 2006 offering the Australian and American academic degrees. Heinz's school specialises in studying of information technologies and public administration. It is located in the downtown on Victoria Square. Other campus of this educational institution specialises in studying of Massachusetts media and show business. These educational institutions attract a large number of students from Australia and from abroad, upholding a reputation of Adelaide as the cities of education. Sabranet, the Fiber Optic Information Network, unites all universities of Adelaide, technological parks, the research centres, colleges and some schools in uniform information. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.